How many of you want more flexibility in your life? This little program that I'm gonna go through with you guys is a very simple quick hack to get more flexibility. Now, if you know me, you know that I don't like the word flexibility because it denotes this idea that we have to stretch. We don't have to stretch in order to become more flexible. What we need to do is start activating the muscles to improve their ability to shorten properly. And when they do that, we actually increase mobility. So I always prefer to use the word mobility. Hey, my name is Yogi Aaron. If you don't know already, I am the owner of Blue Osa Yoga Retreat and Spa and also the Yogi Club, where we offer a lot of life-changing practices. I'm also the author of Stop Stretching. If you don't have your copy yet, make sure you get your copy of Stop Stretching available on Amazon. And in this book is where I actually reveal a lot of these practices and go through them in much more greater detail. Now, what I would like you to do is just do a little bit of a test. So we're gonna do this before and after, and I want you to notice how you feel before you do the test. Well, when we do the test the first time, and then afterwards, after we go through these five very simple exercises that will take about less than 20 minutes, I hope. <laughs> so what I want you to do first is bring your hands or bring your feet underneath your hips and bring your hands to your waist. Now, one of the most common quote unquote stretches a lot of people do is try to touch the ground or their toes with their hands. So I want you to not do that, but have your hands on your waist and just fold forward. Now keep your legs straight here. Just come to your own tissue tension. Just notice how you feel. This isn't a test. It's just more to kind of observe your own sort of range of motion, how you feel, is the body stable? And we're gonna kind of use that as a marker to see how these five practices kind of influence you. We're gonna work on the rotators, uh, the extensors a lot, and as well as um, some of the trunk flexors. Got it? Okay, let's get to work because we got a lot of work to do. So we're gonna come and lie down onto our back. You're going to bring your knees into your chest. Bring the arms out to the sides. Squeeze the knees in. Now we're gonna do each drill for six seconds and we'll do it six times. So first of all, what you're gonna do is bring your knees over to the right, kind of pull the knees into the chest, keep the left shoulder blade down. Now bring the knees only about 30 degrees, no more than that. Keep squeezing the knees together. Inhale, bring the knees back up to center. Exhale, bring the knees over to the right. Here, what we're doing is actually starting to work the oblique muscles a little bit, as well as the transverse abdominis, TVA. Inhale, bring the knees back up. Exhale, bring the knees over. One of the most important rules in applied yoga anatomy and muscle activation is that less is always more. So be gentle, be kind to yourself, and then come back up. Inhale deeply, exhale, come on over to the right. Squeeze the knees together, squeeze the thighs together. Bring the knees towards the right armpit here. Inhale, come back up. And then exhale, come back over to the right. Now, think about the pubic bone, the pubic symphysis. See if you can pull it up towards the navel center. Ah, uh, yes. Inhale, come back up. And we'll do it one more time. Exhale over to the right. Again, pull the pubic symphysis up towards the navel and the knees towards the armpit. And then come back up. And exhale, relax. Bring the feet down to the ground. Inhale deeply. And exhale deeply. I promise you that you're gonna feel so empowered by the end of these uh, little practice. Bring the knees up into the chest and then bring the knees over to the left. Again, it's only about 30 degrees, so it's not very far, okay? And then inhale, come back up, and exhale, come back over. Bring again the knees over to the left. Now, again, you're pulling the pubic bone up towards the navel. Keep the right shoulder blade onto the ground, and then inhale, back up, and exhale, come back over. Very good. Inhale, come back up. Pull the pubic bone up towards the navel. Squeeze the knees in towards each other. 
Bring the knees over to the left again, just about 30 degrees. See if you can anchor or pull the knees more towards that left armpit and then come back up, inhale. And exhale, come back over. Very good. Very, very good. And then bring the knees back up. And then exhale, bring the knees over to the left. Again, it's just about 30 degrees. It's not too much. Anchor down into the right shoulder blade. Feel the collarbone spreading. Pull the knees up towards the armpit of the left side. Inhale, back up. We'll do it one more time. Pull the pubic bone up. Keep it pulled up. Keep it pulled up. Keep it pulled up. Bring the knees 30 degrees over to the left. Very nice. And slowly come back up and then let the feet come back down. Very good. Okay, so from here, what we're gonna do is one of my favorite poses called bridge pose. So bring the arms out to the sides, and from here, you're going to bring the feet a little bit hip distance apart, and squeeze the glutes, and then inhale and slowly come back. Now really focus on squeezing the glutes, press down into the heels of the feet, and then come on down. And then squeeze your glutes, arms out to the sides or behind you is also fine. Lift the hips up as high as you can, squeeze the glutes, press down into the heels of your feet, lift the toes up, and then slowly come on down. Push down into the heels of your feet, lift the toes. Good, squeeze the glutes. Now, if you're not sure if you're squeezing, kind of give them a little bit of a tap, but see if you can lift the pubic bone, the pubic symphysis up, 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 and then come on down. Take a breath here, just because it feels good. Lift the hips up, push down through the heels of the feet. Lift the toes. Now see if you can just find the inner heel for a moment. Press down into the inner heel. Lift up a little bit more and a little bit more and then come on down. We're gonna do this two more times. Find the inner heels of your feet. Press down and lift up. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply and then come on down. Very good. Shake the glutes just before we do the last one because we always want to enter this in from a relaxed state. So press down into the heels, engage the glutes, lift up. And hold for two, three, four, five, and six, and come on down. Really nice, you guys. Okay, from here, come on to your stomach. We're gonna do our next one, which is called Shalabhasana or Superman pose, because we want to be a super person. I'm just going to fix my mic thing here. <laughs> All righty. So from here, you're going to lift up the legs and the chest as much as you can. Try and lift from the inner thighs and then come on down. And again, lift up. Very good. And then come on down. And then come on up. Very good. Now, if you want to, bring the arms up to the sides. Turn the palms up, externally rotate the arms, lift the palms, lift the legs, lift the chest, and come on down. Mm -mm -mm. Lift up, bring the arms out to the sides. Turn the palms up, lift up, 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 up. And then come on down. Lift everything up, bring the arms out to the sides. If you want to now, bring the arms forward. Lift the arms up, lift the legs up. Lift the arms, lift the legs, and then come on down. Lift up one more time. Lift everything up, arms. If you want them forward, lift them up. Lift up the legs, lift it, lift it, lift it. Come on down. 
Beautiful. Now bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Come up onto your knees. Very good. We're going to start to do a few plank poses. Plank is such a great pose to really begin to activate the transverse abdominis. So the transverse abdominis is one of the key stabilizers in the trunk and spine. So inhale, lift the chest and heart, tuck the toes, come into dog. Don't worry about straightening your legs here. That's not really important as we're in dog pose. But what is important is when you come forward into plank, do straighten the legs, press back through the heels, bring the chest forward, push up a little bit between the shoulder blades, let the hips dip a little bit, squeeze the sides of the belly in, and then come back into dog pose. Let's do it again. Come into plank, let the hips dip a little bit. Good, remember to turn the corners of your mouth upwards. Bring the navel into the spine and then come back into downward dog. Inhale into plank. Let the hips dip a little bit. Push up in between the shoulder blades a bit. Press back through the heels of the feet. Turn the inner thighs upwards towards the ceiling. Squeeze the sides of the belly in. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, come to plank. Hips dip, press back through the heels. Draw the chest forward. Kind of a bit of an outer rotation, a little bit in the uh, humerus bone, in the biceps, and then exhale back into downward dog. Inhale into plank. Squeeze the sides of the belly in. Turn the biceps out, press back through the heels of the feet, straightening the back legs. Let the hips dip a little bit, navel the spine. Exhale, back into downward dog. Now this next one, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a challenge if you want to. So you inhale, come to plank. Lift your right leg up. Very good. Now come into downward dog. Lift the leg up, start to open the hips. Very nice. Let the foot come down, take wild thing if it feels good. You are biomechanically prepared for it. And then slowly, the leg up, come down. Very nice. Inhale into plank. Squeeze your core. Lift your left leg up. Good. Come into three-legged dog. And then slowly, come into wild thing. Mm, mm, mm. Come out of it. Lift the left leg up. And then hand down. Leg down, downward facing dog. Oh my God, you guys are doing great. If you're sweating as much as I am. Alrighty, so we're gonna do our last pose. Last pose, one of my favorites is quadruped. But we're only gonna do it three times on each side as opposed to the standard six. So bring the chest forward. Squeeze the sides of the belly in. I'm gonna lift your right leg up. I'm gonna just place something underneath my knees here. As I'm getting older, my knees become more bony. They need a little bit more cushion. All right, so from here, lift your right leg up, lower the hip, lift the leg up higher. You know, for some people, you don't need to go any further. Um, but if you can, bring the left hand forward and then lift both the leg and the arm as high as you can, but keep that right pelvic bone down and then slowly down. Very good, lift the left leg up, lower the hip, leg up higher, lift the right arm and arm and leg and hold for two, three, four, five, six and down. We're gonna do a little bit of a twist this time. So bring the right leg out, lower the hip, Keep the legs straight, but lift the leg up higher from the femur bone. Lift the left arm, left arm and leg. Now twist to your left for two, three, four, five, six, and down. Lift the left leg, lower the hip. Lift the leg up higher, lift the right arm, arm and leg, and then twist to your right. Hold for two, three, 
four, five, six, and down. Lift the right leg, lower the hip, leg up higher. Lift the left arm, arm and leg, and then twist to your left and hold two, three, four, five, six. Come back down. Last one, left leg, lower the hip, leg up higher. Right arm forward and lift up and then twist. And two, three, four, five, and six. We just did it three times on each side. I usually will teach it six times on each side. So if you feel like you wanna go for broke, add those extra three. But for now, what I'd like you to do is come up and let's retest. So before I asked you to see what your range of motion was, what your sense of stability was when you came forward. So bring your hands to your hips. Have the feet about hip distance apart. And then come forward. I don't know about you, but I can come a lot more forward than I did before. And I feel a lot more stable. And I feel that I have more range of motion. So this is just a very simple practice to get the muscles, the key muscles of the body working in such a way that you not only improve your range of motion, but you also have stability in that range of motion. I hope that these practices help support your journey in life to help you live pain-free so that you can go out to manifest and live your life purpose. Be well and happy practicing.